With many forms of printmaking, the paper needs to be soaked in order to make it receptive to receiving the ink from the matrix. And it's important to have it soaked so that the fibers are soft enough to form to the matrix and absorb it enough to um, absorb the ink, but not so wet that it will reject the ink. If the paper is too dry, you can end up with prints that appear papery or a little bit grainy on the surface. And that's because the paper either doesn't push down into the grooves of the matrix well enough, or the paper fibers are too dry and they don't quite grab onto the ink to transfer it from the matrix to the substrate. I'm going to show you two different ways to prepare your paper. The first way is probably the fastest in terms of preparation ahead of time. And this is the method that works best if you're printing um, without really knowing what time or day you're going to be printing. This method of soaking the paper uses a bath of water and then some place to dry your paper, um, either two sheets of paper towel or an absorbent clean dry towel or an absorbent clean cotton shirt of some sort. After you have your paper cut to size, you'll fill a bath with clean water and tap water works just fine for this. The paper is put in one sheet at a time until it's fully submerged on both sides. And you'll put in as many sheets as needed for printing. Depending on the type of paper you're using and also the relative humidity of the environment that you're working in, the paper will require different amounts of soaking time. Many Western papers have internal sizing that gives it strength and holds the fibers of the paper together. If the paper is soaked not long enough, the fibers of the paper aren't able to soften completely. And if it's soaked too long, then the bonds of the paper may start to break apart and the paper will start to deteriorate into the fibers. So um, it's good to experiment a little bit to see the time that works best. Heavily sized papers like Reeves BFK sometimes even require one hour up to a full day of soaking before it's really receptive to working with the ink. Many papers are about 30 minutes or so. And many papers also, you can put all of the paper in at the same time and then start using it as you're ready to start printing. So this paper has now been soaking for 20 minutes and I'm ready to take it out of the water bath. I'm going to do that by picking it up from one corner and allowing it to drip dry. Once the water slows to a few drops at a time, I'm ready to dry it off using the towel. And I'm going to place the paper between two pieces of clean towel. and apply even pressure over the towel surface to blot the paper. And I like to move the paper over and repeat to ensure that it's fully blotted. Afterwards, you're looking for a piece of paper that's fairly bendable, yet doesn't make a sound when you shake it. And also you want to check to make sure that there isn't any shiny areas on the surface of the paper, which means that there's still a lot of water on the surface. So this piece of paper is ready to use for printing. The second method of soaking your paper is called a damp pack. And this is my preferred method for soaking paper, because regardless of the amount of sizing in your paper or how humid it is in your environment, it always seems to get to be just right when it comes time to print. With this method, we're going to dip each piece into the water bath individually and then place them into a plastic bag with weight on top overnight. And what's going to happen overnight is the water will start to equalize through the fibers of the paper and make it so that they're all really swollen and um, moist without um, being too saturated and wet, where it might then reject the printing ink. So unlike when you're soaking the paper and you leave it in the water bath for an extended period of time, when you're preparing a damp bath, the paper is dipped into the water until both sides are fully coated. And you can soak multiple pieces at a time when you're making a damp pack by 
placing them on top of one another, ensuring that there's no air bubbles between the sheets. After I have in all the pieces that I'm going to use for soaking, I'm going to align them so that they're all stacked perfectly on top of one another, and then lift the entire packet up and allow the excess water to drip off. And I'll let it drip until it slows to individual drops. At this point, it's ready to go into my plastic bag and one gallon size uh, Ziploc bags work terrific for this, especially with the small size that we're printing at home. I put a sheet of clean paper above and below. Sketchbook paper works great or newsprint if you have it. Newsprint is a little bit acidic, so some of that may migrate into our printing paper. So sketchbook paper is ideal. I'm going to smooth this out so most of the air is out, seal the bag. I'm going to let this sit overnight underneath weight and a stack of books works just fine for this purpose. The next day when you're ready to begin printing, the damp pack is ready to go. So you'll remove the weights from on top of the damp pack and I like to flip the damp pack over because overnight the water may settle onto the bottom sheet and I want for it to settle the other way um, while we're working over the course of the day printing. When it comes time to use a sheet, I like to keep a set of paper towels next to me. And you'll pull the top sheet out using clean hands. and then seal up the bag until you're ready to use the subsequent pieces. At this point, I'm going to check the paper to ensure that it's evenly wet, it doesn't make a sound when I move it, and it doesn't have any shiny spots on the surface that would indicate that it's a little bit too wet in certain areas. If that is the case, what you can do is gently blot it with a paper towel. The last step I like to do before I go to the printing press is take a clean cloth, either a, a paper towel, um, like a blue shop paper towel or a Viva paper towel, or a cotton um, piece of fabric from a cut up t-shirt, and just gently wipe over the print side of the paper to remove any sort of lint that might be on the surface. When printing, the lint can act like a stencil between the paper surface and the printing matrix and actually cause a white mark in the final print from blocking the ink from fully transferring to the print paper. These are two ways to soak your paper and get it ready to go for printing, depending on if you want to be able to print without a lot of um, lead time, using the water bath is probably the way to go. And if you want to prepare ahead of time and make it so it's less work preparing your paper when you're actually printing, the damp pack is definitely the way to go.